Welcome to the support video for workload automation video series. In this video solution, we will show you how to provide a calculation based on the per minute access server endpoint, units of measurement required by the control M endpoint or server licensing scheme to the control M user reporting tools. Starting from Control M Enterprise Manager version 9 fixed spec 5, the Control M user reporting tools support per minute access server endpoint unit or measurement on licensing model. User can generate the server endpoint usage through the Control M usage reporting tool. You can launch the Control M usage reporting tool from the program file BMC Control M version 9 usage utility. But please take note that the path might be different according to the version of Windows running in your environment. In this example, we are running from the Microsoft Windows Server 2012. This is a demonstration how to generate a server endpoint usage through the Control M usage reporting tool. The first screen you will see when open the tool is the welcome to the BMC Control M usage reporting tool wizard. This tool was designed only for the user on task-based licensing. You can click on About Server Endpoint button on the screen to access more information regarding the server endpoint. The purpose is to assist the general use of the Control M reporting tool, which document the details of your license capacity and how it calculated. All machine upon which any Control M component is installed, or upon which Control M managed workload runs must be licensed. This includes the Control M agent platform onto which one or more application plugin are installed, but also include the Control M agent platform where no application plugin is installed. The licensing guideline are application plugin is shown in this screen as well. Click next button to enter the information about the Control M Enterprise Manager environments. On the initial login, you need to add the Control M Enterprise Manager environment detail. The information will be retained when the next login, so you don't have to enter the information. Click on the next button and fill up all the required information. Enter the environment names, the host name, and the username and then enter the password and next enter the database name when all the information provided is correct you will see that the connection is successful and then you can click next to generate the report Click on next button, you will see the result screen. If you are on the task, you can click on the task report. In this case, we have selected a view of most active server endpoint deaths. This is identical to what we do with tasks. At this time, you can click on save detail button at the bottom of the screen. This will show you the endpoint associated with these numbers. If the email to client is configured, you can click on the send report button, which will send all the relevant details to the compliant team. For example, lastly, if you want a full view of the last 365 days, you can click on the total server endpoint per day to view all the information. As you can see, when you click on the total server endpoint per day, you can view all the information listed. Thank you and that concludes this Control M solution video. Please see our knowledge base and the YouTube channel for more video like this.